your name, sir? I'm Dr. Wasim Pandele Dufison. I am uh, an energy consultant, university lecturer, and an instructor of herbal medicine with the Ghost Traditional Medicine Board. So, so, what is the benefit of natural medicine? And how has it helped the health, se health system so far in Nigeria? Well, when you say natural health medicine, uh, you are basically talking about all processes uh, that human use, that is in a natural form, to have good health and well-being. Uh, the word medicine, whether you are talking orthodox or natural medicine, is something that you take to help you relieve of elements in your body so that you can have physical health. But beyond that, you also need to have um, your, your mental and emotional level to be balanced because there is no medicine for that other than to, to hang on to wisdom or to the knowledge from your faith to let you know that there is nothing you are passing through that has not been so that your system can have some equilibrium and therefore it doesn't set your entire body into the wrong channel okay so natural medicine is basically following the path of nature and nature takes it eliminates so if your body takes you cannot eliminate there's an issue nature rest in the night and the morning to give us sunshine so if you are working without rest you're also making sure that you're, you're already harming yourself so um, so that's natural medicine you can taste the herbs anything that is not that does not undergone uh, refinement or addition of chemicals is nature uh, but nature too also has quantity and standardization that it regulates so all things must be regulated. Okay. So thank you very much, sir. Quackery is actually very big thing when it comes to natural medicine. You see a lot of people saying this particular medicine can cure several ten ailments. So as a member of the board, what efforts are you making from your own end to ensure a reduction in this thing? Looking at the fact that a lot of people just think it because of the poverty issue, some of them cannot access the orthodox medicine. So, what efforts are you doing as the board? So, okay, um, I will respond to that question. First, I'm not a member of uh, traditional medicine board. Okay. I'm only an associate lecturer of, of herbal medicine. Okay. The board is something that is set up by the Lagos State Government. And I can't speak for the board. Okay. So, so I will speak as a practitioner. Okay. Now, when you say quackery, it's not just natural medicine, you have quacks. In orthodox practice, too, you have quacks. Any process that does not follow a standardized acceptance rules by a professional body. I mean, any professional body, they have their guidelines, they have their rules. Anybody that practices outside that is a quack. Okay? Now, but for, for those that claim to be in herbal medicine, um, as one of the uh, speakers said, uh, poverty, uh, a lot of things, people are now coming in, even those that doesn't have any clue any clue as to what certain herbs can do. They just mix this and mix that together and sell it. And people are patronizing them, one, because their level of education and awareness is very low. You that have a license now, you know that if you start doing something wrong, God will get at you, they will prosecute you. That's a deterrent. Okay? So to me, that's